Hi, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. Um, today we have the staff of the Lynn Public Library here to talk to us a little bit about how things have been going since the COVID pandemic, COVID-19 pandemic became a thing of national, international concern. So right now everybody has been impacted by this on such an extreme measures. And one of the biggest things that we look forward to in society is going to the library, getting our resources, finding some books, taking our children there, and not having access to this has become a very big issue. And I wanted to think about the points of view of how are the people from the library themselves handling this because there's so many books there, so many different people have gone to all these different, how are you guys handling the pandemic? So we just wanna make sure that we inform the public as well, but we wanted to get your perspective. I'm Teresa Hurley, I'm the director of the Lynn Public Library. Um, and I have to say, this is an experience I never thought I would experience. Um, trying to reimagine what the library is in today's day um, is challenging because we're known as a place of open space. Yeah. And we can't provide that to the public. Um, I will say my three rock style librarians, Caitlin, Lindsay, and Nicole, have done a great job um, in social media and interacting with the patrons. Um, and we, we hope we can reach people that way. I know there are people we can't reach that way either. And so we're, wor I'm, we're working on um, what, what it looks like to reopen. And nobody has the answer because we're all going through this together, even other libraries. So um, it'd probably be a phased reopening instead of just, okay, we're open for business. You know, we have to mm -hmm. take into consideration the safety of our patrons, the safety of our staff, um, and still provide the services that we can provide. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I'm Nicole, I'm the children's librarian, and we've been just trying to stay connected with the public by um, having various um, books read by the community. Um, we started a challenge called Hashtag Lynn reads and um, different community members have been sharing that oh, um, awesome. challenge amongst themselves and it's been pretty popular a lot of we have a lot of books being read so check out our uh, Facebook page uh, Lynn Public Library Children's Department Facebook page because we have a lot of community members and um, also the senator um, um, Brendan Crichton also is reading the book so we have a couple of city counselors as well it's been pretty popular. So we're trying to think of different things like that to keep our um, community, you know, enlightened and keep on reaching out to the community to make sure that they know we're here with different resources. And Lindsay had a sim similar successful program with um, first responders story time. Yeah, um, we wanted to put together something for library week, which was last week and um, Instead of honoring the library, which is what you usually do during library week, we wanted to take a moment and flip it and honor those who are working on the front lines of the pandemic. So I had a firefighter read a story for us. We had an EMT. We had one of the nurses from the Lynn Community Health Center, as well as a police officer and a state trooper. Uh, so it was nice to have all of them involved in reading uh, to the children of the community and um, be able to honor them and thank them for what they're doing on the front line since, you know, we can't be in the library at this time. That's mm -hmm. awesome. That's awesome. They are these uh, videos that, on the website or are they on the Instagram or which social media network are they on that people could actually go on and participate or get more? So Caitlin could talk about the social media because she's been um, behind the scenes on our Facebook and page and other social media platforms. Excellent. We'll definitely put a couple of links here on this interview here as it airs so that people can go and join the website. So if you look up, up right now, you'll see some of their information, guys. Log on to their Instagram and follow them online so you can stay up to date. Um, Caitlin, um, can you tell us a little bit about your role throughout this pandemic? Yes, um, I am head of Young Adult Services and I've been um, handling a lot of the social, some of the social media. Um, we have uh, Facebook, Twitter, um, Instagram, YouTube um, oh, wow. pages. Um, a, a lot of the first responder videos, they're on Instagram. 
uh, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, um, and then the Lynn Reads uh, campaign is on the children's page for uh, on Facebook. Is the, is the Lynn Reads campaign an ongoing theme that you guys are going to keep implementing on a daily basis? Yeah, yeah. Every day we're sharing. Yeah. <laughs> so we can actually make a call to action here right now and say, hey guys, if you have a great story, send it to us. Is there a place where people can participate and send you their videos reading children's books? That's right. Yep, um, if you what they could do is upload it to the children's, Lynn Public Library Children's Department Facebook page. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, and tag, tag Lynn Public Library and Lynn Public Library Children's Department. Oh, fantastic. Mm -hmm. That's Use great. hashtag Lynn Reed so that'll be easy to find mm -hmm. and then I can post it on the, the uh, Facebook page. Are you here and here first? Okay, Lynn. So if you want to show us the books that you guys want to read out to your children, here at Lynn Public Library is going to be showcasing it on their social media page as well. Um, one of the things that I wanted to ask was about throughout the weeks that have happened, how are you guys going about integrating back into the building? No, um, no one's allowed in the building. I'm allowed to go in as needed. Um, and that lasts as long as this, the stay at home advisory. Um, so I, I go in once a week to make sure the building is okay. And okay. I get no it. ghosts are knocking books off the shelves in there. And books then. are falling off the shelves. <laughs> I'm taking a picture of everyone, and I'm going to see if someone's trying to tell me a story. Are you guys posting that online? Are you posting? I have no, I haven't yet. That's We're going to wait to decipher the full message. Well, we are in a par. This is definitely, you know, a paranormal state we're kind of experiencing. It's kind of like a surreal dream. So I think all bets are off, right? So. Well, I, I will tell you, it's surreal being in there with the building closed and cold and. Um, it's the first time in 120 years. We just celebrated 120th. That's right. The, the first time, time we've been arrival. closed. You, I remember you were telling me a little bit about the price of the building was a little bit over less than $200,000. And you told me to, in today's society, how much would that be worth? Probably a, for what they paid to have it built for the land, the furnishings and the building, it was roughly $211,000. So today that would equal to about six million dollars, six and a half million dollars. Wow. Such a beautiful building. We're definitely looking forward to getting back in there and having access to the resources. So speaking about that, how can people access books today, returns? I know that there's a huge catalog of DVDs and movies that kids are not even able to check out right now that how can they get any access to some of the catalogs? Is there a way they can get online to see some of these things? So we do, um, Lindsay can talk about um, our on online services. So I'm Lindsay Robert, I'm head of adult circulation. Um, what we can offer right now is what we are able to offer through our website. Um, our online resources include uh, Overdrive or the Libby app, which is where you can get eBooks or e-audio. Um, we do have Mango languages, we can learn another language. Uh, Freegal Music, you can download free music. Um, you can learn a course through Gale courses. You can also explore the Learning Express library. Wow. All you need is your library card. Um, if you don't have a library card number, you can't find your library card. Completely understandable. You can register for a temporary library card uh, for you to access our online resources. Um, Lindsay, we're also offering online desk hours. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to uh, Yes, over. if you just go to the website. Um, on the website, there's a steps there for how people can get a temporary card. Yep, you just click on the link. It'll take you to the form. You fill out your information, and you'll get a card pretty quickly. And then you can start accessing the streaming services from those from that username and profile. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Yep, so all you have to do is to music. What What were some of those things you said? Streaming music. Streaming music. Um, you can do uh, learn a language through Mango Languages. You can take a certified course through Gale Courses. Uh, and you can also explore the Learning Express Library. You heard it here, Lynn. It's time, we have the pandemic and we have all these great resources. We can get a couple of certifications and bump up those resumes for free. This is a great opportunity here. Um, and our website is www 
dot noblenet, N-O-B-L-E-N-E-T, dot org, slash Lynn. Or you could just Google Lynn Public Library. <laughs> if you guys heard some noise back there, that's my cat, the Night King. He's a little erratic these last couple of nights. Um, yeah, that's my cat over there. Um, this is awesome. 2020 pandemic, we're making it happen the most positive ways we can, keeping a positive thought, staying focused. And I just want to thank everybody here today, Teresa, Nicole, Caitlin, and Lindsay, for taking the time out on your day to inform us here in Lynn Public TV about what's going on with the library. We really take thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Excellent. It'll be on to today. And everybody, all the links are going to be right there. Take a look at it and stay safe out there. Wear your masks and your gloves. Take care. Same to you. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.